In this tutorial, I will show you how to perform non-parametric tests with two independent samples, as well as how to perform non-parametric tests with two paired samples. Non-parametric test does not require the assumption of normality. It is commonly used in situations listed here. We're going to start with the two independent samples. Let's look at Origin Statistics menu under Non-Parametric Tests, and you'll see that we provide two methods, the kolmogorov smirnov test and the Mann-Whitney test, and you also have the option to run the two methods simultaneously. In this worksheet, there are scores of a high school class in 2002 and 2003. We want to know whether there's a difference between the male and female students. We're going to select from the statistics menu, non-parametric tests, and we're going to look at the Mann-Whitney. We open up the dialog. Origin supports the exact p-value, but it's not recommended to use it for large sample size. We need to specify the input data form. We're going to leave that as indexed. Now we need to specify the input data. So our gender is our grouping range. And the mean scores here from 2002 and 2003 are our data. We're going to check the exact p-value. The results of the Mann-Whitney test are created as a separate sheet in our input workbook. The exact p-value is displayed. The asymptotic p-value calculated from the approximate normal test statistic z is shown as well. Origin provides footnote for you to draw a conclusion. In this case, scores of male and female students are not significantly different. Let's use the two-sample kolmogorov smirnov test to determine whether the distribution of the scores differs significantly between two terms, summer and winter. We select from the statistics menu, non-parametric tests, two-sample kolmogorov smirnov test, open dialog. Our group range here, again we're leaving it as indexed, and then the group range is term. So we can just select that from the flyout. And then our data range here is going to be, again, the mean scores. We click OK. Another worksheet is added to our workbook, storing the results of our test. The exact p-value, again, only available for small sample sizes. You can see that in the table. Again, there's a footnote that helps you draw a conclusion that the distribution of scores between the two terms are not significantly different. Let's go back to our input worksheet. And now let's look at two paired samples. This time the teacher wants to know whether the scores of his students changed from the year 2002 to the year 2003. We click on statistics, non-parametric, paired sample. There's two methods for the two paired sample. And again, you can run the two methods simultaneously by opening up the paired samples dialog, NPH paired samples. We're going to select the D column, which is the year 2002. For our first data range, second data range is going to be the year 2003, which is our F column. We're going to click on the sign checkbox, click OK. We get a new worksheet generated that stores the results of both tests. 
The sign test is based on very few assumptions about the nature of the distribution under test, but it may lack the statistical power of Wilcoxon's signed rank test. In this case, we're going to accept the conclusion of the Wilcoxon signed rank test. And looking at the footnote, we can conclude, also here the statistics uh, table, test statistics, the scores of the students are significantly different. From the ranks table, we can say that the scores of 2003 are better than 2002, so the students made progress. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.